The idea of leaving their body is alien fantasy to some, but the phenomenon is far from unique. It has been documented for centuries across various cultures and among countless people. Scholars have taken the matter quite seriously since, well, way back in time. We've talked before about CIA studies and remote viewing, where they used able test subjects with the ability to astral project, utilizing this skill at their convenience. The extent to which these experiments were carried out and whether they still occur today is disputable for some. For some, this is accompanied by ecstatic emotions, understanding the universe and even life itself. For others, it is a horrific experience, witnessing inhuman horrors from the victim's perspective and fighting to return to their own physical body before other energies take total control. In 1968, one of the most spine-tingling astral projection reports fell into the public domain when Miss Z whose experience had been studied by parapsychologists at Duke University, North Carolina, and published in the Journal of the American Society for Psychical Research, decided to share her encounter. The study claims that Miss Z had a history of spontaneous experiences, an odd occurrence to which she had been accustomed since childhood. Most of the time she would just float above her bed and then return to her body. But one of her more recent episodes, found her ascending higher than the ceiling above her bedroom. Moreover, she experienced this from someone else's perspective, as if traveling through someone else's mind. The first of these episodes occurred after a night spent asleep at home, when Miss Z woke in the middle of an unfamiliar deserted road, empty except for a man following her. Terror racked her as she quickened her pace. Her mind wandered to an old checkered skirt that wasn't hers, the man following her suddenly picked up his speed, causing her heart to race faster. She felt him grasp her. She woke up in her bed, frightened but unhurt. Miss Z started to believe this was a myth until she read about the rape and murder of a young woman in her local newspaper. An important fact stood out. The location where the body was found and the skirt the victim was forced to wear were identical to what she had experienced. This confirmation led Miss Z to surmise that the woman she saw was the victim. Miss Z was teaching Aaron Pavline to astral project intentionally rather than by mistake, as just described with Miss Z's encounters. Although Aaron didn't succeed the first time, she continued to try. It took her 25 years to do it again. However, she quickly found out that the ability to astral project on demand had its dangerous possibilities. Astral projection, Pavline says, involves having a dual consciousness and existing with her body as well as being separate from it. Even though these were two separate energies, she just knew and sensed both. She also noticed others around her astral form, triggering fear of the darkest realms. When these others were present, she sensed herself being pulled out of her body as if they wanted to keep her and possess her body. Robert Bruce had been researching this for decades and confirmed that many of his subjects felt the same. Miss E reported that when she left her body, everything else was known to her at once, although she often had no idea where she traveled. Worse, she had no control over when she entered and left her body. Bruce had another patient, Miss P, who described waking up in her bed after allegedly projecting against her will during sleep. She often tried hard to get back into her body but couldn't, feeling a pressure weighing down until it lifted when she woke up. Many psychics say their ability to astral travel has always been with them, and even some true adepts go unappreciated until they learn how to do this consciously. One of these is Edgar Cayce, perhaps the most celebrated mystic ever. Cayce claimed he could astral project and access the Akashic Record a repository of worldly knowledge and history that exists only on the astral plane, like a library of cosmic energy. Adherents to the Akashic Record believe that in this astral space, a record of every deed is kept. Those who can access this plane have full authority. Nearly all ancient cultures and many present-day Native American tribes hold similar beliefs. 
Casey chronicled many of his astral travels in his writings and journals and used the Akashic Record to make predictions and psychic readings. He described becoming a little dot as he flew through this cosmic dimension anchored by a strange silver umbilical cord connected to his body. Author and researcher John Keel posited an interesting theory. If reports of astral projections were true, could it be possible that many UFO sightings involving dot-like objects represent the energy form of people on their astral travels? Even more intriguing are the accounts of strange beings that Casey says tried to interrupt his journeys. As with the claims of others attempting possession, Casey contended he had to avoid such entities or struggle to return to his body.